and welcome you all in chemistry drive with ravneet i hope you all are doing well so today's video is totally on demand as it was requested by most of the students and people from other states countries that they want a video in english on this important topic that is ziegler natta polymerization so this video is totally in english and i hope that at the end of the video you people will be able to understand the concept of ziegler natta polymerization the mechanism how the polymerization is carried out in the presence of this ziegler natta catalyst so let's start with the uh, this most important topic that is very very important uh, for the examination point of view uh, for the bsc for the msc and for those who want to crack like uh, net gate and all so let's start so like until 1953 what was there the vinyl polymerization were carried out by the free radical initiators like benzoyl peroxide azido isobutyro nitrile so the mechanism which we people were following that was a free radical mechanism until 1953 so then comes the two scientists carl ziegler and guilio natta so they discovered they give us the catalyst that is called the ziegler natta catalyst that was definitely after their name carl ziegler and guilio natta for which they even bagged they even received the nobel prize in 1963 so they were honored with this uh, nobel prize so what is actually this ziegler natta catalyst this is the mixture of titanium trichloride or titanium tetrachloride that is Use any one of them, like titanium trichloride or tetrachloride, that is TaCl3 and TaCl4, and alkyl aluminium compound. So alkyl aluminium compound, like here I have given the example of triethyl aluminium. So any alkyl group uh, you can choose it. So it is like C2H5 is ethyl, tri is thrice uh, time, and Al aluminium. So you have just to take these two reactant first. okay and you have to mix it in the presence of a inert solvent so inert solvent which i am taking here is a heptane and then you need to add your monomer once you have this mixture heat it for 1 hour so first remember this what is ziegler natta catalyst and which solvent you need to use and then you need to add your monomer monomer depends upon like if i am carrying out uh, the polymerization of polythene so i will definitely use ethene so similarly you can choose the monomer of your type and you just have to fix that in the mechanism instead whatever i have taken you have to fix your monomer rest of the things will be same then very important is the advantages whatever thing you do in life whatever things you are doing in your class you should know the benefits you should know the advantages of that thing so the main advantages of using this catalyst is we can carry out our polymerization under milder condition so in the presence of other like at least we have to give the high temperature high pressure condition but when we are working with the ziegler natta catalyst we have to apply lower pressure low temperature condition as compared to the normal catalyst the very second thing is sometimes we do not want branched polymer we want the linear polymer so in that case also when you do not need the branching you should uh, have to put this catalyst in your polymerization technique thirdly stereo specific stereo specificity uh, stereo specificity you know that uh, very very important in the organic chemistry so stereo specific product like you want my group should be above the plane below the plane or i i want this major product so everything like stereo specific product you can make syndiotactic atactic by using this polymer okay so next is the technique how we Uh, carried out our polymerization how it works so let's start with that thing now so firstly when you add your titanium trichloride or tetrachloride so it depends upon you whatever you want to take you mix it with the triethyl aluminum so here it uh, you can replace it because sometime in the examination they can give you the alkyl aluminum compound of their choice okay so you have to mention here that thing so i am telling you this is a basic mechanism okay of uh, of ethe of polythene formation you can just uh, you know mold it you can uh, just fix your things according to whatever question is given to you in the examination so firstly they will react with each other so when they react firstly the active species will be formed so once the active species is formed remember here are the cl i haven't put on the cl just remember because i want you people to focus on the main thing 
the main is the titanium c2h5 your eyes should be on that so rest just understand that these are the uh, cl4 cl so you can make it the 3 cl depending upon if you are taking the titanium trichloride okay so now after this you have to add your monomer monomer is ch2 double bond ch2 so if they have uh, given you the polymerization of teflon so you have to replace this h accordingly okay then what happened after addition of the monomer it will react with that of the active species and we will get this step that is here we have the you know cl cl here we have the c2h5 and there is a sort of attraction between the pi electron cloud of the ethene molecule and your metal you always know that whenever the pi electron cloud comes close to the metal metals they always have the vacant d orbital so they get attracted they want to donate their electrons there they want to join there with the metal so it is a sort of the active uh, you know pi complex you can say it is a pi complex formation so pi complex once the pi complex is formed then after that this ethene molecule will try to join with that of titanium and your this ethyl group c2h5 so you have to draw this state very carefully that is c2h5 here so it is it will be better to understand this if you put your c2h5 there so i'm just uh, erasing this so that the bond i need to make is the dotted bond just wait okay c2h5 so here your ch2 here is also ch2 and this is their old pi bond okay so this is a sort of transition state so as you know that uh, transition state are always not that stable and in transition state the old bonds break and the new bonds are formed so similarly you can see here that uh, the this is also is dotted okay so dotted means new bonds are formed and this old bond pi bond is also breaking so this is the transition state okay after pi complex we have the transition state so then what happen is you have to just remember this c2h5 you have to turn it like this it will be easy to form the next step if you remember that i am going to just turn the c2h5 so i will get this state that is so here we have the, your whatever monomer is given to you you have to just insert it in between your titanium and your c2h5 remember this okay so this step as your monomer it gets like set inside between your uh, titanium and c2h5 so this step is called the insertion step insertion step insertion step is whenever your monomer unit get inserted inside your metal and this is your metal and this is your alkyl group okay and this is your monomer okay so you just have to mold this uh, as per your uh, requirement so now what happen is when your c2h5 shift to that state here we have the vacant site created so we have another monomer units in the reaction mixture so definitely they will also try to get inserted 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 inside your metal and c2h5 so keep on going let's try to add some other monomer unit here ch2 ch2 so again without any like um, doing the hard work here so you just have to insert here the ch2 so let's let's draw it ch2 ch2 another similarly you have to keep on drawing ch2 units in between the c2h5 and uh, this ch2 uh, the ch2 ch2 will keep on like adding 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 and we will get the n number of after the continuation of uh, adding so many monomer when vacant sites are created and other monomer unit is formed and n number of monomer units get inserted in between your titanium and c2h5 and when you feel that uh, i get the polymer of my own choice whatever like molecular mass i want so you need to just stop this reaction you need to terminate this reaction so what is the step for terminating is i'm just showing it separately so you have two choices always to terminate your uh, this uh, 
tech, uh, this polymerization so one you can do is hydrogenation and the other you can go for this beta elimination so what i am showing you is the beta elimination so beta elimination means i will eliminate a group from the beta position so how you will be able to mark the beta position after the metal this is alpha carbon this is beta carbon so this thing you need to remove beta hydrogen and then this hydrogen is picked up by the titanium like this and we will get this bond will shift here and we will get the polymer of our choice this thing n number okay so this is your poly ethylene or polythene of required mono uh, required weight whatever we want so remember it is a very very easy step i think with this you will be able to like do the polymerization of any monomer you want you can carry out the polymerization of any like polymer in the presence of ziegler natta catalyst so firstly i am just giving you a quick uh, uh, like a preview what we have done is we mix the titanium tetrachloride and triethyl aluminium we get the active species firstly in which these two things will react then we add our monomer this monomer will try to attract towards the metal and pi complex will be formed then comes a transition state in which old bonds will be break and new bonds will be formed and after that comes the insertion step in which your monomer unit get inserted in between your metal and your alkyl group and a vacant site is created to attach other uh, this uh, monomer unit and similarly when you keep on carrying out uh, the like with n number of monomer unit this polymerization we will get a long chain and then we want to terminate the chain what happen we will either undergo the beta elimination and hydrogenation so here we have shown the beta elimination in which the hydrogen this h positive which is eliminated proton which is eliminated is picked up by this titanium and this thing is formed and our required polymer so if uh, like uh, by the proper choice of experimental condition so propylene can be polymerized to like give any of the three stereo isomer forms whether it is isotactic syndiotactic and atactic so i hope this concept is clear to you so if you like the video and you want uh, videos in english on some more topic which i have already like uh, posted on my this channel so do comment and uh, already a playlist on the whole chapter is also provided so final year students especially and msc student you must go through that playlist and uh, let's see you people in the next video keep liking keep sharing and keep supporting chemistry drive with ravneet